Hi guys, um, I was going to do a quick run through on how to tether boot your Apple TV. Um, I just want to go through a few points really because uh, a lot of people keep asking me about the tether jailbreak for the Apple TV on 5.0 and 5.0.1. Um, basically a tethered boot just means that you need to boot up your Apple TV every time there is power loss to your device. Now that's power loss. That doesn't mean when you stick it into sleep mode on your Apple TV, you need to keep rebooting. That is not the case. And I think that's where a lot of people are getting confused um, on the tethered uh, jailbreak. Personally, for me, um, I don't like tethered jailbreaks. Um, but for Apple TVs, um, I can't see there being a problem, really, because, um, again, I don't uh, ever turn my Apple TVs off at the power source. Um, they are always on, but obviously in sleep mode. Um, there's a very um, a low factor of power uh, from them, so it's not actually costing you a lot of money to uh, get, keep it running while you're not using it. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's go on to the tethered boot. So as you can see, uh, I've got my uh, Apple TV uh, here. This has been jailbroken uh, using the Season Pass and is currently running um, 5.0 uh, at the moment. So anyway, so once you've jailbroken your Apple TV, uh, you'll need to um, tether boot this. So basically, um, get this back up and running to plug into your TV and off you go. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go back to uh, your season pass. You want to uh, open up the application. Click yes. Again, allow for all networks just for uh, this program. And it will pop up with another message to say that if there's any um, security, internet security that's running, that it may not work properly. So again, like on my previous video, just disable that for this program and then go ahead and press OK. So as you can see, guys, um, you've got the screen that comes up, which tells you to either create an IPSW, which you obviously use for your jailbreak, uh, and also do your boot tethered. Um, so as you can see, you've got boot tethered there. You've got the USB um, on your left, and on the right, you've got the power source. So what we want to go ahead and hit boot tethered. And now it's, it's saying to you, waiting for device to enter DFU mode. Simple instructions, connect to USB, power, and then press and hold the menu and play button. Uh, sorry, the uh, menu and um, so the play and pause for seven seconds. So again, that's these two buttons here, the play and uh, the menu. So we'll go ahead and you've got your micro USB and we'll stick that in the back. And then you've got your power lead, which again, stick into your device. Now that power lead, make sure that power lead is where you're going to be having the Apple TV because you cannot now lose the power for this Apple TV. So basically, once we've done the tethered boot, we're going to basically take out the uh, USB, leaving the power source connected, and then connect it straight to your HDMI lead on your TV, and then it will turn on as normal. Um, so as you can see, it's still waiting for DFU mode. So we'll go ahead and stick it in DFU mode. So like I said, guys, hit menu, Play pause, seven seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and release. If it doesn't happen the first time, don't worry guys. We'll try another USB port because sometimes that can be a problem when you are uh, boot tethered, changing USB ports on your PC or your um, or your Mac or whatever, does resolve the issue. And also make sure that the uh, um, Apple uh, drivers are installed automatically, which normally come up here at the bottom. Make sure they're installed before you try again. So we'll give it another go. So again, guys, menu and pause, menu plus uh, pause and play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and release. So as you can see, 
It's recognised the Apple TV. It's found the device in DFU mode. It's now uploading. This normally takes roughly about 2-3 minutes. You're watching this in real time, I'm not pausing it, so this is the whole run you'll be doing. As you can see now it's uploading the uh, kernel, uh, kernel cache and also has now booted up. So now you'll get a message on the screen saying tethered boot complete it is now safe to disconnect USB and connect HDMI. And that's it guys really. All you need to do is press OK. Your Apple TV will be flashing. Basically that will keep flashing until you um, put it into the HDMI and then it will boot up. So you do is unplug the uh, micro USB leave the power in and then connect the HDMI into the back and then you're good to go. So like I say guys, uh, tethered boot is only for loss of power, not to uh, confuse it with sleep mode on your Apple TV.